in a royal drama unfolding at the heart of the monarchy, Prince William of Wales finally spoke out about King Charles' health and future plans for the monarchy. Atmosphere around Buckingham Palace has changed dramatically since the monarch's coronation and tensions are running high. Inside sources say the corridors are echoing with whispers of discontent and conflict. The revelation also shed light on the Wales family's private life within the castle. Speculation about hidden tensions and power struggles has been swirling in the House of Windsor again this year. Persistent rumours have cast doubt on the 42-year-old royal's legacy. Prince William of Wales has formally admitted what many have suspected for years, revealing startling information that threatens the future of the monarchy. He referred to the situation regarding his father, leading us to explore a final confirmation that could determine the king's fate. His condition is now being closely monitored, raising doubts about his ability to lead with the same longevity and strength as his mother. There is a clear reluctance in both palaces to the idea of discussing a future that is not King's Wifts. A full recovery from AIDS is so serious that no one wants to think of the unthinkable that Ian Patrick, who worked for the FCO, was awarded an MBE for his services in international peacekeeping and would join the household ready to assist the prince in his geopolitical expansion. As he increasingly represents king and country, he is very aware of the future that lies ahead of him. And the Wells family takes their commitment to duty and service very seriously, and they are making decisions about their lives based on the fact that they are the heirs. First and foremost, his priority is to get his wife back on her feet, so William will always do what is right for him. At the moment, being a wife and a father means not getting too far ahead of himself. He and everyone who works for him hope that the future as King William V will not happen again until he is much older. In fact, the prince's statement is historically significant, and he was chosen to calmly address such issues in order to maintain continuity and empathy even in difficult times. Declining health suggests that the royal family's approach to sensitive issues may be changing. The pressing question remains as to whether the monarch's reign is drawing to an end and how much time he has left. The effects of King Charles' declining health are evident, especially at the age of 75. It is no exaggeration to say that this has been a very trying time for the king and other members of his family. Any plans he may have had in the earlier stages of his reign have had to be reworked. He took it all in stride despite being hospitalized periodically and having to adjust his schedule to his way of working for a while. He never once felt sorry for himself or complained about his situation. Now it is time for an autumn tour to Australia and a Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Samoa. The King feels that this is the second chapter of his reign, and I have never seen a person more positive and optimistic about the future. The public can probably expect more frequent updates than in previous generations, as the king welcomes greater transparency and is likely to use it proactively to help those around him and raise awareness. Sources close to the king say that since his cancer diagnosis, the king has taken great comfort and strength from the love and support of the people. This is the main reason why he has chosen this openness. The monarchy must therefore stay away from many family squabbles. That is why he is looking forward to his trip to Australia with Camilla. It will provide both parties with a welcome opportunity to relax and share a special experience.